This is New Cap News with Lauren Pollan. Good evening and thank you very much for joining us. A Lloydminster home was peppered with gunfire early yesterday morning. The owner was at home asleep at the time, but no one was injured in the attack. The RCMP was flooded with 911 calls from neighbors hearing gunshots at roughly 2.30 in the morning. By the time police arrived on scene, the suspect was gone and members still have no idea where or who he or she is. But RCMP say there is no reason for the public to fear for their safety. Uh, it's not a random act. Uh, it's, uh, it was a targeted uh, uh, shooting. Police aren't releasing any other details or confirming if the shooting was drug or gang related. RCMP say they will release more information later in the investigation. After the mass shooting in Colorado left many people shaken and angry, there is ongoing debate on gun policies in the United States. But how do Canada's laws compare? And as Stanislaw finds out. The recent shootings has awakened a new set of questions as to how easy it is to purchase a gun. There are three classes of firearms. Non-restricted firearms include hunting rifles and long guns, while the restricted category includes handguns and assault rifles. The prohibited group include fully automatic firearms. Canadians must be over 18 and apply for a possession and acquisition license to buy any of these firearms. What we call long guns, non-registered uh, firearms do not have to be registered at the present time. They took that out uh, about six weeks ago now, where you didn't have to register firearms. The long gun registry is what they called it. Although the long gun registry has ended, Shepard says restricted and prohibited firearms still have to be licensed and registered. Everybody has to take a test, um, pass a test, and uh, to get your PAL. And when they have their PAL, they can walk into my store or any gun store and purchase a non-restricted long gun. Um, by simply showing that license. Now, once you receive your PAL license, there are no limits as to how many firearms or ammunition you can purchase. It can take up to six weeks after background and security checks are done, and officials will then decide whether you can have a PAL license or not. There are also restrictions on acquiring restricted and prohibited guns, such as the AR-15 assault rifle Colorado shooting suspect James Holmes was found with. Normally, you can't get a prohibited license anymore. They took that out in, oh, several years ago. And uh, people that, are, that have prohibited licenses now cannot grandfather that down to any of their children or anybody like that. So when that expires, that prohibited status will go with him and uh, nobody will be able to have those prohibited firearms. Anna Stanislaw, New Cap News. A trial date is now set for the man charged in connection with a police standoff in the border city last month. James Daniel Monroe will face his first day of trial December 20th in Saskatchewan court. He will also appear in court July 30th regarding accusations of obstructing officers in his chase. He will remain behind bars until his trial as his bail was denied. Monroe entered a not guilty plea to seven other charges in association with the standoff, including assault and threatening police officers. The mayor held the State of the City Address at the Rotary Club this afternoon. Mayor Mulligan gave an hour-long presentation detailing where the city has been and where he hopes it will be in the future. The mayor spoke to running the city as a business and the challenges he's faced. Also announced were goals for the next few years, including hosting a health care summit, creating attainable housing, and working on funding provincial partnerships for Lakeland College.